up, yo? So, we're officially, for the most part, I guess you could say, moved out of Arizona. My mom and I are going to be roommates for a little while. So, this will be interesting. Um, yeah, well, we're going to be roommates for a little while. And she's hanging out with me till I go home to Colorado. So, part of this vlog is going to be just some of the stuff her and I are going to do together and talking to her. She'll let me put the camera on her. That's the big question is if she'll let me do that. But hopefully she'll let me and she won't be a pill about it. But we'll let you guys know. You guys will see. So let's get after it. Mom, how do you feel about me being all moved out? Terrible. 20 days with you will kill me. <laughs> She's lying. I'm a great person to be around. It's you that's the issue, I think. Hey guys, so I have to drive, and I highly doubt. Ooh, camera's a little dirty. That's a great shot. Uh, highly doubt my mom's gonna take videos, my so we're going to meet Jammer. My cooler. What are you yelling at me for? Thanks for taking my cooler. I don't care. I don't care. No. So we're off to meet and Jammer. Go swing a little bit and just have fun with it.
so we're just outside Blanding, Utah on our way to Moab. Well, back home, I guess. Moab's the next town, huh? Yeah. Got a special guest. Mom's on here. Mom, tell them about yourself. A little bit about yourself, you know, where you grew up, all that good stuff. Let's go. See ya. See how well you did this. Kyle did this really well, so pressure's on. I grew up in Fruta, Colorado. Weird. Spent my whole life there. Where'd you go to college, all that? UCCS in Springs, which we will be meeting Jace. I mean, I will slightly cheer for pilots. <laughs> So Armag played softball. What do you do now? <laughs> Technically, I'm a teacher. Technically, you're a teacher. Do we need to go into detail, or should no. we just continue? Okay, we will continue. Basically, she hasn't done the work she needs to do. Anyways, so let's start with your high school years. Obviously, well, obviously, I know. No, these people don't know, but I know. You always wanted to be a teacher. But when you got into high school, sports was a big part of you. It was the only part. It was the only part, okay. There's that. Just talk about your sports and like what you were like as an athlete in high school. Lived and breathed softball, basketball. Went from one sport to another. Some mornings had practice for basketball, then we'd go play softball and then go back to basketball. And that's what I did for four years. You want to get the bragging out of the way now? or you... There is no bragging. When it comes to two state championships, there's no bragging? Well, only one mean? I played in. 30 yeah. seconds doesn't count. You found out in the basketball one. <laughs> so you had two state championships for you to basketball, softball. Talk about getting recruited to Springs and how that worked why and why you ended up choosing Springs over some of the offers you had. And I'll tell them what the offers were because I know you want them. So, just why Springs? Colorado Springs was close to home and still far enough away to be out on my own. And how was it recruiting? How did you get recruited to Springs? How did Met Springs the coach at, a, at the All-Star game and really liked her and new program and new start. The Colorado High School All-Star Game, correct? Yeah, the, yeah. For softball, you know, okay. That was a lot of things that I didn't do, obviously. Um, I mean, so you chose Springs because it was closer to home over offers from, what was it, Hawaii, Utah, was it Nebraska Kearney? No. No? Nebraska Kearney wasn't part of it? No. But those were your two main Division One offers? Yes. So people, I could be living in Hawaii right now, okay? But instead, I live in Colorado. Let's just get that out of the way. <coughs> so then after your four years at Springs of softball, and God, I don't even want to go into the, all the accolades that you had there because there's too many to freaking count. After that, what was the decision? Where, what do you, where did you go from there after UCCS, after your four years of playing were over? Where did you go from there? Came home to Mesa, did a little coaching at Fruiton Central, Grand Mesa Little League, and then got my teaching license and headed to Greeley. Taught there for three years, followed a friend of mine to a new school in Jeffco, and then finally got a job back in Grand Junction. So, did we, you know, just a few Q&A questions here and then. People have actually asked me these questions about you and then I have a few of my own. I'm going to get the burning one out of the way because I'm really curious. Would you, if a softball job in the Valley came open, would you take it? Nope. Too Why? busy traveling to watch a child play. So, people are going to stop calling you and asking you to take the job so I'm going to take it? Probably not. <laughs> but, you guys need a softball coach to call her up. Anyways, um, the other question that people want to know, in your household, obviously Papa won a state championship as well. And your uncle was on the team. My uncle, well, Uncle Bo was on the team as well. But in your household growing up, who was the best athlete in the household? My 
between your uncle and I? The pop, you get the pop in there too, because he was an athlete. We know that. Grammy. Grammy. <laughs> she didn't even play no sports in high school. What you mean? <laughs> <laughs> she was all that. She was all that. So she was the best athlete yep. in the house. Even over you? Yep. Shit. Okay, let's go to the household right now. We're not going to ask the athlete question yet. That's later. Who's the best cook in the house? In our head sure house. Right not now? me, Kate, probably. Probably Kate. <laughs> Dad just went under the bus. <laughs> he got on. See you later, bro. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. Did you enjoy our time in Arizona, minus the heat? Oh my. The heat was awful. He was awful. It was terrible. Actually, only two of the games were miserable. Yeah. Yeah, it was fun. Got a lot of uh, binge watch watching them done. We did. There was really nothing to do. <clears throat> yeah, we could have went outside and roasted like little marshmallows. <laughs> it was 115 outside daily. It's terrible. Let's see. I'm trying to think of what else to ask you here. If you weren't teaching, obviously, I said earlier, you wanted to be a teacher your whole life, but if you weren't teaching, what would you be doing? CSI. Getting away with murder. Got it. Okay. Noted. <laughs> yep. Growing up, athletes that you admired, people that you admired, who were they? Lisa Fernandez. UCLA. Yep. Todd Hill. Over Jenny Finch, too. You Jenny Finch me. wasn't in my childhood, dear. I guess that's true. <laughs> she rode dinosaurs to school. Yep. You rode a brachiosaurus, right? Mom made dinosaurs like that? No, or a Dino from Flintstones. Oh, uh, it was a shorter brachiosaurus? Yeah. Oh, my lord. If you were to go back in your recruiting process and pick any school, in the nation, you can pick any school to go to and play. Right away, where would you go? Florida. The University of Florida? Yep. The Gators. Wow, not, not at all what I saw happening. Tennessee. Tennessee, if you really not. One place you want to travel to, like... Costa Rica. Costa Rica. Oh, no. Or Michigan. Say. I want to go or sailing. Michigan? What about Italy? Is that even on the list? Like, no, I, I'm more into going sailing right, right now. Sailing. Pretty sure you go sailing in Italy. I don't know. Couldn't tell you if you could or couldn't, to be honest with you. Okay, let's just ask it. Who's the best athlete in the household right now? Caden. Because none of us could do what he can do on a wakeboard. Yet here we are, two Division two athletes. And Dad. <laughs>